Is there a like verse or passage that you see yourself going to now that we're on the topic of scripture? Yeah. Is there a passage or scripture that you go to constantly when those feelings that you experienced three years ago or continue to experience that like, I go here and this gives me peace or understanding? Yeah. There's favorite verse or favorite passage? Cheesy as it sounds, I'm going to yeah. go there. Go, um, go for it. John eleven thirty five. Come on. Famously known in the Bible as the shortest verse. You don't even have to look it up. I think you know it. <laughs> the John shortest verse is Jesus wept mm -hmm. yeah. for the longest for the longest time since I was a kid, probably because it was the easiest memory verse. Uh, at first, I, I've been drawn towards Jesus wept mm -hmm. as as a scripture. I think I've always been fascinated by what it means, what it implies. And I think um, over the past few years, I've taken more care in unpacking that. There's a title of a song on my most recent album called Jesus Cries. And it's about that. And the interesting part about John eleven thirty five, 35, Jesus wept, is for some context, Jesus is weeping over the death of his friend Lazarus. It says in the Bible that Lazarus is the one Jesus loved. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Riley, the one Jesus loves. You know, I mean, it, that's <laughs> Lazarus, the one Jesus loves. <laughs> Lazarus has died and Jesus comes to his sisters and they're mourning, their brother's dead. They're, they're upset, they're sad, they're grieving. And Jesus didn't show up and say, y'all, it's gonna be fine. No, don't worry about it, it's all good. It's all, he didn't say that. He didn't meet their tears with, ah, if only you guys knew, it yeah. wasn't that. Jesus came close to them. He grieved with the family. He showed empathy, he mourned, and he wept. Jesus wept. Mm -hmm. And here's the part that literally gives me chills every time I hear it. Jesus wept even though he knew that he was gonna be the one to raise Lazarus from the dead. Yeah. And what that tells me about my savior, about the Jesus I know, is that in my moments, like three years ago when I'm at the lowest low, and I don't know how I'm gonna pick myself up tomorrow, and I feel unloved, and I feel like I've lost my identity and sense of purpose, the Jesus I know meets me in those moments, and he weeps with me. Wow. And he, he cries with me because he loves me. Yeah. And he cries with me because Jesus, who is the glorified Savior, is also fully man, and fully was the man of sorrows, lived the human experience perfectly, yeah. and he wept. <clears throat> Uh, it's just it's it's been one of those verses I cling to even in the midst of looking back here in Nashville where we're filming. Um, it's been a little over a year ago now, but with the Covenant school shooting, I remember. I mean, I, we could hear sirens from the house, and I, there was this overwhelming moment. The song the song wasn't out yet or anything like that. I had written it. It was a piano vocal somewhere in my phone. And I remember thinking to myself, God, I don't know how you could let this happen. And those heavy questions weighed so heavily. And it was in that moment that I went back to Jesus wept. The things that happen on earth that break his heart. I believe that he meets people and their grieving and their depression and their separations in their sicknesses and their illnesses and their cancer in yeah. the loss of a child <clears throat> with the empathy of hey i'm sad too i weep with you yeah and that's the jesus i know hey thanks so much for watching if you want to watch the full uncut version of this episode you can head over to our patreon uh, for more exclusive content that's patreon.com slash the bonfire again that's patreon.com slash the b-o-n-d fire uh, you can get exclusive content watch ad-free episodes and a whole lot more so we'll see you over there